So the side hustle, crypto. Um, yep. And I'm going to read out because um, you're also very involved with the Crypto Futura Fund, right. which apparently achieved 90% return in 2020. We had a good year. Yep. Now, what I read uh, about uh, the fund is that there are four myths about crypto and I'm going to read them out. Okay. Crypto assets are worthless. Crypto assets are for criminals. Crypto assets, uh, existing markets are good enough in this marketplace. Investing is all art or science. So that's the four myths about crypto that um, uh, apparently Crypto Futura Fund uh, is dispelling. We so, are dispelling. That is yeah. correct. So, tell us a little bit about crypto and how you got into it, and why you see it's going to save the world. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at a high level, we've seen this. The over centralization of technology has led to some of the things that you pointed out as part of the challenge that we're facing in the social media world. It's also led in China to total surveillance states. So you have either one of those bookends. That's dangerous. Yep. Decentralized technologies in the long run represent a phenomenal opportunity to increase security, safety for individuals, number one. Number two, as you also pointed out, see, not only can you sell OKRs, Jeff, you can sell crypto because as you also pointed out, it democratizes finance. Right now, there are 2 billion people in the world who don't even have a bank account. There's so many barriers to getting a bank account. And if you don't have a bank account, you can't get a loan. You can't create a new business. There are all types of things you do, which means you are destined for a life of poverty. We can't afford to have that. So we need a system that allows people in a permissionless way to get access to finance, financial tools and instruments uh, and so that's something that the crypto economic systems that are coming in and are already here afford. They also provide uh, a better secure, uh, a better store of value. And, they, and they, they respect individual property rights much more effectively than what we have right now. So, for example, Bitcoin being the class example, there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin mm -hmm. created. OK, I don't know exactly what's happening with the with the Central Bank of Australia, but I can tell you the US Federal Reserve has printed money in levels you can't even imagine. 35% of all dollars ever created have been created since last March. Wow. The numbers are off the charts. So I say to people, look, Bitcoin and these other crypto economic systems, you know exactly what the money supply is gonna be every single day. In the fiat system that all of us know and somewhat understand, you have no idea. So your, your value that you've worked so hard to store up and save for the future for your retirement is being eroded away on a daily basis. So between the ability to give access to anybody who needs it at any point, anywhere, just all they need is, you know, one of these things. Oh, well, you can't see it. It's a phone. <laughs> Bad example there. Yeah. They, Anyone access anytime, 24-7 markets, the ability to transact with anyone with, at any point for whatever reason you want, to be guaranteed some degree, guaranteed proper or have the choice to custody your own, your own information and your own value, and to have that protected by software as opposed to people and politicians, when you put all that together, that to me is one of the most powerful forces that we've seen. And I think it's going to revolutionize the financial. I, I know, I don't want to say no. I'm highly confident that it's going to revolutionize the financial system that we all know. And, and the world that we live in today will be as, you know, antiquated as like thinking about sort of the mercantilist societies of the 1700s. It just won't make any sense to us because We'll ask, and, and then the last part that I'll say is on a personal level is like you look at these huge wealth disparities that we have, you know, the top 1% getting richer and richer. These systems are designed to be more fair. They're not going to be perfect. In social media, I thought everything was going to get all the problems were going to be solved. Whoops, I was wrong. I'm not naive enough this time to say that crypto systems will solve everything. But I believe fundamentally they will be more fair, more open, more respectful, more secure than the systems we have now. And I think people will gravitate toward them. First, they'll come for the economic opportunity and to make a quick buck. But once they see the value that these systems offer and the experiences that they offer, 
they'll stay for that reason and you'll start to see huge amounts of value transfer and it's already happening it's already happening <laughs>